Hello, my name's Heather, and I've been practicing meditation consistently for around a year now. Over the past year, I'd probably say I've missed only around 40 days, but I've been able to make meditation a consistent practice in my daily routine. In the past, I kept trying to show up every day for meditation and failing. I kept trying to make it a consistent habit and I just couldn't get it to work for me. And so in this video, I just wanna go through some things I've learned through my own experience and some ways that I think could really help you to incorporate meditation into your daily routine. First thing I think is important to think about is to ask yourself what is your why? Why is it that you truly want to meditate? Meditation has become quite popular and a lot of people are talking about it, but really you need to connect this to something deeper and what this means to you. So for example, I've suffered with quite a lot of anxiety in my life. And so for me, I really value meditation as something that's gonna help me reduce that anxiety. Another thing is that I really want to improve my focus and improve my concentration. Personally, how I look at it, I've got a lot of goals and a lot of things I want to focus on. So I know if I'm putting my time into meditation, which is actually gonna help me improve that and therefore improving other areas of my life. Because I see meditation like this and I have a strong why, it's easy for me to value it. And if I value it, it means I'm gonna be making it a priority in my day-to-day -day life. So it's really important to get clear on your reason why, because otherwise, you're not going to value it you're not going to see it as a priority and so you're not really going to want to show up every single day this has to be something that is important to you connected to something deeper is it that you're searching for meaning in life and you feel like this would give you some answers is it that you're suffering with mental illnesses or anxiety and this could be some relief just be super clear on your own why if you know why you're doing something you're more likely to show up for it another way that i've really found helpful to look at meditation is to look at meditation like a skill I don't know why, but I've done this and I see other people do it. We suddenly think that if we're gonna show up for a session and we're gonna start meditation, that we're gonna be able to be an expert. We expect ourselves to clear our minds and expect that the session is just gonna go so smoothly. Meditation is a skill just like anything else. Let's say picking up an instrument. You wouldn't expect to pick up an instrument for the first time and just be, be able to begin playing it. And it's exactly the same with meditation. It's a skill that takes practice. It takes time and it's a process to learn how to do it. The most important thing is that you learn as you go. There's no waiting for the right moment. Just like beginning to learn how to play the guitar. You pick it up and you practice it. You have to keep practicing until you're eventually gonna get good at it. I really feel like this is an important point because I see so many people expecting that they can just start it and they're gonna be amazing at it and then they just throw in the towel and then they don't want to do it when they find that it's hard and I was the same in the past I kind of thought I'm not really sure if I'm actually doing it right I'm not really sure if this is how it is but all of that is you learning how to do it every single time you sit there and you're observing and you try and do a meditation you are learning how to do it it doesn't matter if for the first two months it doesn't matter if for the first however many months you're still struggling and you still are not totally sure and you're still finding it hard because you're learning how to do it and honestly I've been meditating for nearly a year and I still feel like a beginner I'm literally more than a beginner like I literally feel like I've only just started <laughs> it's super super hard and it's a journey and it's a process and so don't expect yourself to start and be able to be an expert this takes time. Now, another thing which is important, and again, I see this as such a common mistake, and I, in the past, made this mistake, is that you need to pick a realistic time frame to show up to. It's all good that, yes, if you can do 20 minutes of meditation today, that is great, but are you gonna be able to do 20 minutes of meditation tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day? The best way to pick up a habit is to start small. There's no reason to go too big because I've done this in the past where you, start, you try and go too big and then what happens is you can't keep it up every day and then you don't do it at all. Isn't it better to do something small than nothing at all? So pick a time frame which is really realistic. We all have different things going on in our lives. If you feel like this is something that would be really hard to do every day, literally pick one minute or pick two minutes. Honestly, it sounds small and it might feel pointless, but it's really not. At first, with any type of habit, you need to practice the art of showing up. You need to be able to show up every single day and the best way to do that is in small amounts. I can promise you that by the time you have showed up every single day for two weeks, even if it's just one minute or two minutes, you're gonna feel accomplished. You're gonna feel like, wow, I can actually show up every single day. Maybe I can do 
five minutes. So start small and make your way up. Stick to that for the next two weeks or a month, whatever feels right until you feel ready to up the time again. In order for you to learn how to do meditation, you have to be able to do it consistently. It's like we said with the guitar, in order for you to learn how to do it, you have to play it. I'll just say quickly as a point here that I was meditating for around 20 minutes for months and I decided, you know what, I think I can go up to half an hour. I went up to half an hour for around a few weeks and I decided actually it didn't feel right for me. I could feel that I was actually probably gonna lose the habit if I kept doing that. And so I put my time back down to 20 minutes and I'm like, okay, that's where I'm at right now. Maybe in another few months I can reevaluate. But for now, what's the most important thing is that I continue to show up every single day and do a little bit rather than none at all. Now, another thing I would suggest if you're starting out is to pick a practice and stick to that practice. This is just my personal opinion and sure, if you want to have a play around with a few practices to see which one you kind of like then go for it but I think a lot of us can feel overwhelmed when we're trying to start meditation I know that I did and I was looking at what practices to do and I was looking at what is the best one to do and honestly I think the kind of mindful breathing the most common one is probably the best one to start with there's lots of ways that you can do this you can download an app called Medito, or you can just do it on a timer for yourself, or there's Headspace, there's loads of different ways, but I would honestly really recommend finding one practice and sticking to that for the next three to six months. If I bring it back to the instrument analogy, it's kind of like, imagine you're learning to play a song, and then you keep choosing different songs all the time. It's gonna be really hard for you to learn how to play if you're choosing all these different songs and you're not really sticking to one. You're not gonna then learn how to do those notes, you're not gonna then learn the rhythm of that song and so honestly I just really recommend picking one practice don't overcomplicate it pick a practice pick a small amount of time and go for it my last point and something that kind of reinforces the first point is to educate yourself on meditation if this is something that you really want to be important to you you're gonna have to really know about it learn about it what kind of studies are out there what kind of books could you read who could you watch on YouTube who also has different experiences I always find personally when I really know about a subject it just reinforces every single reason why I want to do it it. When I've read all the benefits of meditation and what it's going to give me and watch videos of people saying how it's changed their life, this just inspires me even more to keep going. Two books I have here is one called The Science of Meditation and another one, The Secrets of Meditation. I've also just watched random YouTube videos on Apple Podcasts. You can literally type in meditation and there will probably be quite a few podcasts on meditation and it's just a great way to basically solidify the fact that you know why you're doing it, you know the benefits, you feel inspired by it, and so then you're gonna want to show up every day. In my eyes, if you see meditation as something that is gonna improve your life, something that's gonna reduce any kind of anxiety and suffering, it's gonna help your relationships, it's gonna help your focus, it's gonna make you feel more grounded in the day, well then, most likely you're gonna look at meditation as a very positive thing, something that, yeah, I should make more effort to try and do this. And so by educating yourself, it just really helps build that mindset of you truly understanding meditation and therefore it's gonna help you to show up every day. One thing I will say is that meditation is literally a roller coaster. There's been times where I felt like I felt the benefits so much and then there's been other times where I've had maybe stressful things happen and I'm not even sure if I'm meditating anymore. It's really up and down and it really is such a learning curve. If I could give any advice, I would say that just trust that this is a process and that even in the times when it feels like you're not meditating, you are still one step closer than you would have been if you didn't do a meditation session at all. Sometimes I can have sessions and it feels like the whole time my head is so busy. And sometimes it feels like I've only actually brought myself back to the present moment, probably like once or twice within a 20 minute session but that's okay because I still showed up and those two times that I brought myself back to the present are two times more that wouldn't have happened if I didn't do a session. Next month I'm going to be going into more detail and making a more in-depth version of my meditation journey but for now I hope some of that advice can really help you to turn up every day for a meditation practice. Remember meditation is a skill, it's a process. Thank you for watching the video, I really appreciate you stopping by and there will be a video next week. Thank you.